Now we're going to see the last kind of biopsies for a specific organs and systems. We have on the genitourinary tract, the renal biopsy, endometrial biopsy, um, the conization for cervical cancer, um, for the breast cancer we have the core needle biopsy, final needle aspiration, and excisional biopsy. For prostate it could be a transuretral biopsy, transperitoneal biopsy, and transrectal biopsy. For the, um, for the pancreatic cyst, most of the time it would be a final needle uh, aspiration or biopsy guided by echography. And on the, on the gastrointestinal tract, the duodenum stomach esophagus is through a endoscope or endoscopy by the mouth and the rectum is by the colonoscopy. Um, the, the sedative that we use depends on, uh, specifically on the, on the um, site that we are biopsying, either the stomach, the colon, etc. And lastly, for the pleural biopsies, well, we have one to see the pleural biopsy. Uh, this is done with many ways, the most common is with the beam silver man. Um, a type of needle. This is especially if the needle, if the uh, tumor is peripheral and there is pleural effusion. The patient needs to undergo local anesthesia. And uh, the, the sensitivity is not quite because we, we don't know specifically in which part we are taking the biopsy of the, of the pleura, but there are not many risks, so we can repeat it um, many times. And the percutaneous or transparietal or transpleural biopsy, so the transparietal, transpleural uh, or trans... Um, sorry, or percutaneous biopsy. Uh, this is not very, uh, we don't use it very much because now we have transbronchial biopsies, etc. So we don't use it very much. Um, anyway, this is guided by radiography. The contraindications would include a, a kissed, bolus, emphysema, um, a hemorrhagic diathesis, or some neurectomy, no, uh, no, sorry, a neumonectomy on the contralateral side or core pulmonary that we severe. These are the contraindications. Risk that can go include the pneumothorax, and that could be a very severe complication.